How's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I am Grace of Goodness Gracious, and this is a giant box of clothing that needs alterations. I have a tendency of going to a thrift store, picking out a piece of clothing that is almost perfect and thinking, oh, I'll just take it in on the waist a little bit, or I'll just taper the legs, or I'll just bleach it, or I'll just dye it a different color, or I'll just take it to my seamstress, or I'll just make them into shorts. And when I clean out my closet, I find them and think, yeah, I'm never going to do anything with this, and then I donate them again. So, since we're in lockdown again, I can't go to the thrift store. I have picked out all of those clothes, and this week I managed to get through three pairs of pants. So, come along on my journey with me of struggling to figure out how to alter my own clothes. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned to the end so that YouTube thinks that people genuinely enjoy my videos. So these are the first pair of jeans that I want to um, alter. 100% cotton mom jeans and I love them. I, I just, I can't get on board with the wide leg trend because I am five feet tall and wide leg pants just don't help. So I had already um, taken them in a little bit on in the leg to sort of taper the ankle a little, but they're, you can kind of see where it does this, where the taper starts. So I'm gonna go back to my parents' house, use the serger again, and just kind of try to smooth that out so it's not, so they don't look like hammer pants, you know? And you can see this ledge here is what makes them hammer pants, so I just need to cut that off. Serging is so scary because it's not like you can just rip it if it doesn't, if you screw up, you know? Probably shouldn't be in such a hurry while I do this. <laughs> That's it for you too. Well, that's what's scary about it. <laughs> I know, because then it's done, it right? Up, you can't just like, oh, I'll just do it over again. No, <laughs> you're, you're gonna go buy a new pair of pants. <laughs> yeah. Now, I find the best method for getting holes in your knees is using 80 grit sandpaper. That way it doesn't look like a fresh cut. It gives you that I just fell down a hill look that we're all searching for in our pants. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? You do, however, have to be careful when you get down to the nitty gritty of it, because once you break through that denim, you can uh, sand the skin off your knee real fast. Then again, it would make your hill story more credible. Okay, this is the next item on my fix list. Technically overalls, not technically, they are overalls. And I thought these would be great for gardening. They're so comfy, they're so soft, but they're also like the color of the earth. So all the mud stains will just blend right in. Same with the, the jeans, the legs are just too wide for my liking. And then the thing is with these overalls is they don't have any buttons or anything on the side. They're just big so that you can get them on, which is good because I mean, I need some space, but I don't love that they're so loose here. So I think what I'm going to do is take a triangle out and then be able to button it closed so that I won't lose the pocket. It's going to make my hips look enormous, but I don't care because I have enormous hips. Good child-bearing hips. Anyways, I love these and I hope I don't screw them up. <laughs> 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 
I put them on inside out, as you can see. I'm just gonna go ahead and pin it, which is gonna prove to be difficult because when I bend over, the seam moves back. Uh, hello, seam. I just start on the knee. Let's say I want it here. Let's say I want it here. So I just put a couple pins in it. I will deal with the sides after. And then I'm gonna, and then that's gonna be too much. I have an idea. Wait here. Okay, this makes more sense to me. Excuse me, chair, you're taking up too much space. It's not quite where I pinned it, but I'm more concerned about the like angle looking stupid, do you know what I mean? In hindsight, I could have replaced the safety pins with actual pins. Now I'm going to try them on before I cut this off. That was perfect. I'm going to cut this off and then I'm going to use this to mirror on the other side to make sure that they are the same. So I'm pinning it first just to make sure that the, the layers stay together and they don't like roll or bunch or do anything that's gonna annoy me. I put these on and I pinched both sides until it fit snugly. These are loose enough that I could actually pin one side and still shimmy myself out of these. So, it's two inches exactly. Okay. So I can cut out four inches, leaving like a half an inch on either side for a seam allowance. I don't know what this is. This apparently is a seam. Now, brainstorming. Can you hear that? That's the wind. That squirrel is gonna blow away. What am I doing? Definitely gonna need to get terracotta colored, what's that stuff called? Thread. My brain is melting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I am gonna go play outside instead. <laughs> okay, bye, I'll see you in a bit.
Okay, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. It's a new headscarf. I'm gonna sew some fabric to the inside of the waist and then I can put some elastic inside of that to keep it taut. I've already measured this out, so I'm just gonna mark that out on the back portion of uh, the pants. I don't know if you can tell, but I am totally winging this. Oh, sweet, you can barely even see that. Nice. So that worked out swimmingly. One nubby before one and a half. Like seriously, what is the point of these pencils? It's doing nothing. Make sure you're not cutting your buckles off of your overalls because that'd be a real downer. to tuck it underneath this seam. That looks so good! Although you can see where I put permanent marker, whoopsie. That's alright. Okay, now for the waistband itself, I've got some elastic and you want to make it tight enough around your waist that you like it and it's comfortable, but you're still able to shimmy it off your butt. So, let's see. Give it a little extra just in case. I'm just gonna put a safety pin in one end. Fish it through my uh, little makeshift waistband. Just make sure the tail doesn't fall inside of the waistband. Okay, I'm just gonna sew these pieces together and finagle it in here and we'll see how they look.
Okay, and now for another overall. They fit so perfectly in the waist, lots of room in the butt to move around, loose legs, like they're great for working in. Except I am all for a little bit of distressing, but these holes, these holes have gotten outrageous because I wear these pants a lot when I'm like gardening. For example, was doing some gardening on the weekend. Every time I stood up, I would get dirt in my pants. And that is a disgusting feeling. So I'm just gonna patch this hole and this hole and this hole. I don't think I'm gonna patch these holes or maybe I will, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I couldn't find any light denim so I ended up getting dark denim and I'm just gonna go ahead and bleach it. You can really use any water to bleach ratio. But the bottom line is the more bleach you use, the quicker it's gonna lighten. So just throw it in there, keep an eye on it and make sure your dog doesn't drink the water. And when it's light enough for you, be sure to throw it in with your husband's laundry instead of your own so that you don't get bleach marks all over your own pants. Now I'm going to start off by giving my pants a little trim so that, uh... Because I want to, that's why. To tie off your thread, you want to make a little loop and then stitch through a tiny piece of fabric and pull it tight. And then you've got yourself a nice little knot. And of course you want to flip your pants inside out and trim the patches so they're nice and tight to the stitches. That way you don't have loose denim slapping your legs with every step you take. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, amazing. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you again so much for watching and for supporting my little tiny channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week or the week after or whenever I get around to making another video. Bye.